and then we'll get started. So we're going to do a nice session of restorative yoga just to kind of help us to unwind after the day. So it's useful to have an extra blanket to put on top of your um, on top of your normal mat, your, your normal yoga mat. This just makes your mat more like a bed. And for this type of yoga, we really want to kind of replicate bed. We want warmth, we want comfort. So all of the nice things really. So um, yeah, so hopefully you should enjoy this. So have a blanket for your just to lay on and then have a bolster or if you haven't got a bolster you can use some rolled up cushions and then a couple of blocks for underneath your feet and a blanket a, roll, a folded up blanket kind of pillow sized like that for your neck and your head so there's quite a few stiff shoulders and neck so you can unfold your blanket a little and then just roll up just a little bit. You don't have to do a lot to create a little roll just for your neck. And then that's going to support the back of your neck and your head. So just lay with your bolster underneath your knees and then just bring yourself down onto your blanket and cover yourself with your blanket as well. So just have enough support underneath your head and underneath your neck just to let the body release. If you've got something to cover your eyes with, again, that is a useful way to create a little bit of darkness which is what we want so once you're in position once you've got the cover to just release into then just cover your eyes if you can and then close your eyes just to allow yourself to release into the floor. Listen to the sound of the breath as it enters and as it exits. And just enjoy this moment of total release. Perhaps you've been on your feet all day. Maybe you've been working. Maybe you've been working through a to-do list. So sometimes we just rush around all day. And then we forget to have time to ourselves. Just enjoy this time of total relaxation with no demands on your body or your mind. Just using this time to just relax, just listen to your breath. Observe how the floor supports your body. And allow yourself to release. There should be no effort. The only effort is to ensure that 
your physical body relaxes. Just enjoy the blissful nature of release. Allowing yourself to just very gently give in to the straight line of the floor. Observing how the bolster supports your knees, the blocks support your feet, the blanket supports your head and neck. Soften your jaw by drawing the lower teeth away from the upper teeth. Soften your tongue. Soften the throat. Soften the muscles of the face. Release in the inner ear. Draw the brain cells from the front of the brain down towards the base of the skull. Draw your attention to the soles of your feet. Observe the soles of your feet until they begin to tingle. And then consciously relax the soles of your feet. Draw your attention to the tops of your feet so that the skin tingles. And then consciously relax the tops of the feet from the skin into the flesh, into the muscle, into the bone. Draw 
Draw your attention into your shins. Relaxing the soles of the feet and the top of the feet. And then relaxing the shins so that the shin bone sits in the bed of the calf muscle. Allow your shins to relax. Draw your attention to your thighs and your kneecaps. And then relax your thighs and your kneecaps. Relaxing the thighs and the kneecaps and the shins and the feet. Draw your attention into the pelvis and the abdomen. And consciously release and relax the pelvis and the abdomen. And then relax in the pelvis and the abdomen, softening the muscles. Draw your attention into your chest, into the rib cage and the shoulders. And then soften the rib cage. Soften the shoulders. Relaxing the chest and the ribs. Draw your attention into your arms, into the upper arms and the shoulders, and the elbows and the forearms and the hands and the fingertips. Relaxing your arms and the forearms and the wrists and the fingers and the palm of the hand. Just allowing the arms to become heavy, to get light. The 
So letting go of the arms and the shoulders. And then soften the neck. Draw your attention into the skin around the skull. Allowing the skin of the forehead to stretch down to the chin. Softening the muscles of the face. Relaxing the muscles around the face. Softening around the nostrils and around the cheekbones. Softening the area around the forehead. Releasing in the inner ear. So as we progress into the practice, I'll speak less and less so that you can just release into the floor. And then when you're ready, just gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Just bend your knees, rest your feet on the bolster for a moment. Just feel how your lumbar spine 
It's supported by the floor when your knees are bent. And then roll over onto your right side and then sit yourself up. Just come into cross leg position for a moment. Just observe how your energy has changed. Just from simply laying down for 15 minutes, how your energy just is already maybe a little higher than it was. We can do a couple of shoulder stretches. So if you've got stiff shoulders, this is really good. You'll need either one of these oblong bolsters. That's better than the tubular bolster because the tubular bolsters can be a bit too thick. If you haven't got one of these oblong bolsters, then just get your blanket and just fold it and fold it like this. Fold it down the middle so it's like your kind of traditional pillow um, and then fold it down the center again. And then you've got this and that's going to go in your kind of right in your armpit chest. So just in just in, in the bottom of the armpit and in the lower ribs. So you, we're going to come onto the side onto your side. You'll need a block for your head. And you might need if you've got a stiff shoulder, you might want to block for your hand as well. You're going to come down onto your side, lengthening out these side ribs. And then you're just going to come down onto the floor, resting the shoulder down on the floor resting your head on the left. So your legs are bent. You've just got the bolster underneath your um, armpit chest. And then you're just going to stretch your arm over your head. Just let the arm rest over your ear. If that's uncomfortable, then just put a block underneath your hand so that it's not going all the way down but it will stay, it's, it's in a position that is comfortable to remain in. So just find your lift from underneath your armpit chest. Just keep yourself warm and then just stretch your arm over your ear. Just rest down into the floor. So this simple side stretch really opens up the upper facing rib cage, opens up the armpit chest. Just breathe evenly and deeply. Again, just let go and release into the floor. Just remembering that if the pose isn't comfortable, then adjust until it is. None of these poses should be uncomfortable. None of these poses should present a major physical challenge. It'll give you a sensation of stretch to a degree but there should be no exertion this is about relaxing so this pose helps to loosen up stiff shoulders and stiff neck
So just let go and release. No expectations other than to allow the body to gently open up using the bolster or the blanket. Okay, and then just gently bring that top arm back just to rest on your side. And then push your elbow into the floor and then just bring yourself back up into cross legs. Just observe how your energy again has changed, how maybe there's an even energy on the side ribs. So let's go over to the other side. So the same pose, just, just resting on the other side of the body. So again, lengthening out the long bolster. Bring the shoulder down, bring your elbow down onto the floor of that arm that's on the floor. Just keep yourself covered for warmth and then just rest the upper arm over your head. Rest the arm over your ear and then just release into the floor.
as you inhale aim to breathe evenly into both lungs however that upper facing rib cage will expand deeply so just allow it to happen allow the breath to be non-resistant Okay, bring the top hand just down back onto the chest and then push yourself into a seated position. And then again, just sit yourself in cross legs and just observe just the energy and the openness of your energy and the surprisingly profound effect that these still poses bring so we're going to do a supported bridge pose like a setu banda so get your blanket and then fold it out so that it's in kind of a long blanket like this and then roll up 
the end. So you've got a fairly chunky um, kind of roll for your neck. So this is really nice for neck or um, or shoulder tension. So you come down onto the blanket. I'll show you first, and then you might want to just experiment, make it a little bit bigger, make it a bit smaller. The um, the fold. And then you're going to lift up and then bring the bolster underneath your seat bones. So if you haven't got a bolster, you just use uh, roll, uh, some cushions or some pillows. And then just have it under the small of your back. So your neck is supported by the rolled up blanket. And then again, just once you're there, just cover yourself over. And then let your arms release into the floor. So this supported bridge pose offers a gentle inversion. Just a gentle inversion action that helps to just boost your immune system a little. If you want to increase the inversion, you can bend your knees and stretch your legs up into the air. But there's no need to overdo it. allow the body to rest into the floor. If the roll underneath your neck is too fat, then just adjust, just roll it a little. Or if you need more support, rolling up, roll it up a little more. It should be so that you can just rest into that neck support but without causing any discomfort. If you feel that the neck support just isn't for you, then don't use it. This is a personal practice where we adjust the position to accommodate the body.
and without disturbing yourself too much just lift the seat bones up and move the bolster out from underneath you so that you lay back down onto the floor you can keep the roll under the neck if it feels okay and just rest into the floor just into an unsupported relaxation pose just resting into the floor if there's any discomfort in your back you can put the bolster in the back of your knees just observe how your energy is different to how we started perhaps there's a feeling of lightness in through the skin through the core of the bones and into the fingertips and into the toes and into the top of the head use your in-breath to distribute that feeling of energetic lightness down into the tips of the toes into the tips of the fingers into the top of the head to disturb yourself just wriggle your toes wriggle your fingers and draw your knees in toward your chest just have a little rock from top to bottom from side to side just a gentle massage on the spine and then very gently roll over onto your right side just stay down for a breath or two and then straighten out the top leg come back up into a seated position just come back into cross legs with your hands in the masti just a final spinal lift drive in the spine upwards drawing your breath in through your nose down into the abdomen conscious of the energy that you have released through your gentle practice this evening that good positive energy that the that the relaxation poses bring to the body and to the mind feeling of well-being and balance and then draw your chin down to meet your chest spend a moment to acknowledge the positive energy you've created inside and then send some of that positive energy out into the world Share in your positive energy so that positive energy comes back to you. And then release the backs of your hands down toward your knees, palms facing upwards. And as you raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. So hopefully you feel as though you've just 
kind of really revived your energy, even though we're doing really gentle stuff. Really revive your energy, and hopefully you've got lots of good energy for your evening. So thank you very much for joining me.